Oh, all okay. right, we're back. So we're gonna get our first match here: Toffee versus MJG. Last all time right. they played. Oh, more Diddy Kong. Yep. Oh, I need Three, two, that. one, go. Okay, yep. So Diddy Kong versus uh, Ingrid. Ooh. That's that's cute. He did like a dash attack into raw bear into up air. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Alright, good safe neutral on uh, Toffee's party. He doesn't want to get caught by any like jab into a bunch of damage by anything. Yeah, I can see uh um, Kong at least picking up anything here that uh whenever you just got that magic heal on the ground there, you can really stump uh Inkman's approach options and just if anyone wants to approach the ass, it might be going there or just right there and so that is Kitty Kong's approach. So a okay, neutral really does kind of get broken down to um, does Diddy Kong have an enough man appeal? Okay, yes or no? Okay, where is it? And then you just kind of have to react to, um, well, not necessarily react, but anticipate what you need to do next from there. And so if you're fighting against a player like Toffee, that's going to be very hard to figure out what you need to do against. Uh, but yeah. Coffee is one of his biggest assets is that he's very ambiguous as a player. He kind of just like is running around, throwing shit, and might not actually be hitting you, but he's like, look at me, I'm juggling this banana all over you. Oh, you slipped up and now you're dead. Right there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it goes to the... He keeps you distracted. Yeah, Tom is definitely a wild player. And Avril is more of a cool and calculated sort of player, so we'll see if Avril can be cool against... Uh, this crazy monkey here. Um, and Toppy normally plays Wario. Ooh. But he's recently picked up, well, not recently, but he's uh, getting more of a hang of the Kong and his uh, certain players. Oh, that should be it. Yep. So, uh, pretty good game here. Going into game one here. Mm. I'm interested to see how these player dynamics end up shifting, if at all, by the end of the match because. So Toffee, very hyperactive, movement-based. He wants to be in your face. But MJT is very safe. He doesn't overcommit in neutral like ever, but he makes his punishes count. And it might come out to bite him when Diddy Kong said high percent and he can't get it done. But he did that roller. But Ooh, that was sick. Ooh, Ooh indeed. And then he just dunks him. That's a nice move. down smash. Yeah, but Avril oh, he's got the traps. Yeah. Avril is definitely a very big player that comes from him uh, playing his other characters, so I just uh, tune him from Sense of Raw so much. But yeah, he's also a tune in main in Smash 4, mm. so that page is really connected uh, over to other characters. It's, it's interesting oh, to see man. Him Toppy is feeling himself. <laughs> yeah, he is. Interesting to see MJD switch over from tune in to Those are nearly the same time. Kind of characters. Wait, doing a good job here. He's, he's he said he thing. was really feeling inkling lately and wanted to just get all he could from using the character competitively. So I think it's more just uh, him looking to test his boundaries with a maybe higher tier character than some of the other ones he's used in this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think that he's got some doubts about his snake as well. Um, well, maybe not snake, but villager. I think. Yeah, it was villager. That, how did he even punish that? He parries sure. the neutral air from Inkling, which is like virtually unpunished. Oh, oh. You see that? He thought he had to tech. Yep. Got him. Yeah, a little buffer right there. Can I steal the first game from MJG. Mm -hmm. I love this layout. This yeah. is so nice. Yeah, I was saying the same thing with uh, Big M earlier. It's just very straightforward. Mm -hmm. You got player one, player two. You don't have to click on uh, this over here and scrolling up and down, just modifying the text. Nice. Diddy Kong! Diddy Kong and Inkling. One more time. Wait, isn't this winner semis? Yeah, this is. No, uh, this is no. Quarters. One off. Alright, so. Three, two, one, go! 
All right, MJG's like, nah, I'm tired of sitting back. I'm getting in there. <laughs> yeah, he's trying it up. Look yeah. He's, he's, he's oh, yeah. on top of uh, Toffee, but that Nair is going to turn it back around. Now we're seeing a punish from Kamiki Toffee. It's kind of a bit of a scramble at this point. Oh, no. That I had to jump. Oof. That's just the worst. You're doing he had, he you're had doing enough time well. to be, but I guess he just thought he had a oh, jump. Oh, again? He did nothing. Never mind. A good, good roll to get it on. Oh, no. We'll see if he was maybe just like going a little too fast at the gate. <laughs> Oh. oh, there we go. That was actually good. Yeah. He had all the options covered, and that once he tripped on the platform. Yeah, like, what can the monk do at this point? He's sitting on his ass in the center platform. We got an inkling below him. We got an up air. Can up air edge is pretty much any option, really. Yeah, he could have covered all the rolling get ups uh, with just an up air and caught it. It was good planning. But oh, I thought I was ready to see another SD. Yeah, same here. I mean, that first a SC is not doing a real any favor. It's already sitting at 104%. When he was, I believe he was uh, winning in percentage. Oh, yeah, he had a pretty commanding lead. And both these players are, are kind of just scared to play with any shield interactions. Mm -hmm. All right, he's slowing down a little more, and he's not... Uh, well, he has an SD, but he hasn't necessarily made up any percent. Yeah. All right. Good punish. Good Ooh. call. Ooh. Okay. All right. That, that was so that's worth. Fair. That was worth. Yeah. Totally worth. Even game now. And yeah, if things go like how they were going, then he might have the advantage here. Now, Avril uh, said this many times before, but whenever you're down, whenever you make an SD like that, you really have to keep your cool. Because if you start uh, going for commitments that are being, your, being your punished, you're going to see some stocks taken away, and then all of a sudden you're in the game because you lost your temper. Ooh, Ooh. Good parry. You know, I'm always, Not much of a punish on it, yeah. but it was good. I'm always scary, scared to make any sort of punishes whenever I do a parry. I, I know sometimes there's some moves like I can air, you can't really parry and punish that. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta use the parry as a window to get further in on your opponent instead of just kind of like immediately punishing them. You just kind of are like, okay, they just got parried. They're probably gonna do some other defensive option. What's it gonna be? Which kind of uh, brings up the topic that, you know, just because your opponent makes a mistake doesn't necessarily mean you should always go for some sort of punish. It might, it might be better for you to just like bait out something else or uh, even just take stage, stage control. A banana totally screwed up his ass guard. Oh, boy. Oh, he almost did it again. Ooh, ooh, you gotta be careful about that roller, Toffee. You get caught by that roller, that's, uh, that's game two right there. Okay. Good splat bomb. Yep. And so we're seeing MJG taking a good, a good Oh, lead the bears. Here. It's time. Try to get back oh. onto this. Oh, splat boy. bomb is doing a very good job. This is a there tough so obstacle. Yes. <laughs> he just keeps doing it. Yeah. It's like, what? why? why yeah, why not? It's working. Yeah. Damn. Are, Are we, we going to see that kind of death back kill? Ooh, at the same time, this is really scary because one banana to F smash could probably end it. Yeah, yeah. This, this stage is not very. Oh big. no, now, definitely now we're, now. now we're seeing. He's uh, getting into some scary range. Some death percents for both characters here. You gotta be careful about that banana, April. Hey, what, what are you gonna do? Oh, it's right. Oh boy. Okay, no banana. In play. Okay, never if I know mind. Toppy, he's gonna go for some stuff. Yeah. He's always looking out to go for some some uh, some monkey funny. Some some monkey business. So. Oh, good grab. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be it. Just happened Very to find game. it. After uh, something happened, you like that, they were closing out. So the last time these two players played was over at Manhattan Project 1, and uh, MGP actually took the set. Hmm.
Yeah, I believe it was a close set two of two to one. Hmm. All right. Well, it's looked like history might repeat itself, but it's good to know that they're really evenly matched players. Mm -hmm. Oh, they say we have an echo. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I'm not sure if that. Oh, I'm, never I'm, mind. Like, I'm not a streamer, so I have no idea how to fix that. It's probably just the microphone. All right. I'm not even sure what's echoing either. Oh, like, is, is it, it Wario game, time? Or is it the microphone? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's it's Wario time. Wario. Yeah. So, Wario, very different character from Diddy Kong. You gotta be careful about approaching your character. Just get the other, uh, or the up tilt to other ritual. Good plan. Uh, somehow, I think this might be a little harder for Kongi going into this because I feel like this is what everyone's prepared for when they play Kongi. They play it with Wario, and they're gonna uh, be mentally prepared for that. And also, MJG is the more ground based player, so he's not gonna necessarily let himself get hit by all of this stuff for free. He's gonna have to earn it. Oh, what oh, a. Oh, there's uh, there's always almost something silly that comes out of these uh, platforms. This is looking very even right now, though. So the way you gotta play against the Wario is you really have to just uh, bait him out and make him secure a hard commitment to use his ground based movement because you're not gonna catch him in the air. Catching him in the air is so difficult. Oh, wow, he lived through that. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of surprising. Look, see that he like dashed under the bike with things like. Ooh, that was a good setup, but he didn't wait for the like the movement after the tech. He didn't get there in time. Mm -hmm. Oh, but up smash the last hit. Good call for stock. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing that happen. Just watching that bike slide away. Did he get hit by the slap ball? Uh, I think he did. Maybe he got. It looks like they fared it, but then nothing happened. Oh man, that was a trouble hitting click. What would you do if you're walking down the street and you saw a Wario? And I saw what? A Wario. Oh. Just just Wario. Just you know, Wario. like a four foot muscular saw, fat oh, man. Oh boy. Oh, oh no, he's good. Oh, he's, he's living. He's living. He's living. Uh, if I saw Wario walking down the street at me, uh, I would probably start fearing for my life. Yeah, if he starts flashing orange. No, that's not fair of me to say. That's not fair of me to say, hey, if I saw Wario, he'd probably want to kill me. He's probably a chill dude. You know, he's just he, he might be chill. I, I've i never played in the Wario game, but I mean, he goes to enough parties. Like, they, they keep inviting him back for sure. Yeah, reason, yeah, they keep so. inviting him back. I guess he's pretty cool. Yeah. What if he was flashing orange? If he was flashing orange, I'd just like, I'd be like, I don't know what time it is for you, but like, don't air me. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I would seek refuge in the nearest vehicle. I don't even think that'd be enough. That's just like an atomic But anyways, Smash is, is definitely getting away from Poppy now that he's on Wario. It seems like he's having a lot of trouble getting on in his crown movement. And I'm slowly, as, as I'm progressing as a player, I'm slowly realizing that that's how you specify this Wario. So you know, I'd be careful about uh, making some sort of commitment like, like that against Wario because that walk will change the entire momentum of the game. It's true. Yeah. If he lands a walk combo right now, uh, he's super back in it. Uh, so everyone's got a miss. Right right oh, that was yeah. almost it right there. Almost. Dude, he had the spot dodge read, but he, he missed up the, the miss. Didn't on even the read. Uh, but now, yeah, MVP getting him to 180. Still no signs of taking the stock soon. Uh, never mind, I lied. There, there we go, yeah. <laughs> Enough bears will do it. <laughs> Eventually, you will not be able to escape Inkling Bear. So you have to fight back. Now coming from melee, I uh, have to deal with Jigglypuff Bear. Oh, man. That brings back bad memories. It's, oh, not, nearly, it's not nearly as uh, bad as dealing with uh, Jigglypuff Bear, but man, this is scary. Oh boy. Okay. 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 We, got, we got a yellow man. No, a yellow Very warrior. yellow. That looks wrong. <laughs> that looks like he got too hungry. A little too hungry, yeah. Maybe maybe uh, guy, a guy into the mustard cache. He's trying to get some uh, mustard on his Eat hot dogs. And he actually fell, in fell into a big, big pot of mustard. 
What if he eats the inkling ink? What if he eats the inkling? Yeah. That's like an instant death, dude. That'd be OP. What if his command grab is down? <laughs> like above 200%, if you get chomped on, you just, you just get swallowed I on. I feel like all characters should have like an instant KO thing like that. Like something cool, like where if you hit him with a certain move in a way, like at a certain percent or something, they'll just die. <laughs> That's it. Well, if, it, at least, if it's as long as it's not. Oh, hit him with the Buenos Dias, and now he's kinda back in it. Like it's scary. One roller, and you're done. But you know, this but at the same time, the last uh, one Nair on the side of the stage, mm -hmm. lead into a Wamp. Could very well be your demise. Mm -hmm. So both these players have to be very careful. Um, obviously, the roller, both both the roller and the Wamp are huge commitments, and if. So yes. Yeah. <laughs> April's not dealing with that bicycle oh at all. Yeah, he's getting the ink on, but like. Oh, he oh. didn't finish the jab, and now. Yeah, both oh. of these characters are playing so scared. April doesn't want to get wafted, and uh, Tommy doesn't want to get rolled. Like almost died in the game. I haven't seen too many rollers coming out from April though, so Tommy might yeah, not be thinking about that. Yeah, he seems very low committal. Very much not looking to finish things out. Just kind of. Gonna wait and take his choose his opportunities very carefully. Yeah, April April is not making any for any sort of defensive uh, yeah, opportunity. But this here. lack of willing to pull the trigger might end up fighting him because he's every second you're giving Copy more and more opportunities every time you can't find the star. Yeah, but at the same time you don't want to uh, make too much of a commitment to uh, get yourself into a walk combo. This would be a perfect opportunity for a walk combo. Oh, oh he he just in the wrong it. way. Yeah, I so don't know the walk uh, nair percentages, but I think he might be out of it. He might just need a falling up air now. Oh, man. Falling and up air like is nair. hard to land yeah, on somebody yeah, who's yeah. looking for it. Yeah, Toffee is looking for these falling up airs and something. April's got to be careful about going sense. to the ledge like this. You, want, you might want to consider just going to center stage and holding it. You know, if he drops down low enough, Inkling just has to recover, then he can just go down there and walk right with her. Could be over. I think another bear will take it. Oh, what a good wow. coverage. So Good April high. Goes. Covered the jumping off the bike. All right, so April.